finally tonight, a story of resilience. At 11 years old, Nadia Nadim escaped the Taliban and fled to Denmark. It was there she learned to play soccer and became an international star. But that wasn't enough. You're about to hear what she's now up to. Here's more on her incredible journey. International soccer superstar Nadia Nadim is known around the globe for doing this. Her skills have made her a force in women's professional soccer, but her life story is even more epic. At 11 years old, Nadim fled Afghanistan after her father, an Afghan National Army general, was executed by the Taliban. We got yeah, smuggled out of the country um, through yeah, a long route uh, through fake passports behind a truck and somehow ended up in a refugee camp in Demo. There, she was introduced to soccer for the first time. It was love at first sight, you know, I had one of those moments uh, where my eyes were popping out, my heart was pumping. From then on, it was an all-out sprint towards becoming a player not only Afghanistan cheered on, but the world wanted to watch. At 34 years old, Nadim has 200 goals to her name and an incredible 98 appearances for her adopted country of Denmark. A champion on two continents, winning a National Women's Soccer League championship in Portland in 2017 and the 2021 French League title in Paris. She most recently joined Racing Louisville FC for their inaugural season. scoring three goals and notching one assist in eight games before tearing her ACL. And while you may think doing all of that, plus learning nine languages, would be enough for Nadim, there was one more goal she was aiming for. Becoming a doctor. Well, I play soccer or football for myself. It's, it's my hobby. I enjoy it. But I wanted to do something more than, than that. So she started medical school, studying to become a reconstructive surgeon. The journey to get there? Grueling. Nadim waking up to study before practice and after training, heading to internships at the hospital. I did ask myself the question, why am I doing this? What's the point, you know? But Nadim never giving up over the last 10 years, graduating just last month and swapping her jersey for a lab coat. I felt like med school and being a doctor probably was my calling. Her club celebrating her accomplishments in the OR putting together a Dr. Nadim mock jersey. That's pretty cool. Um, I really want to have one at least. <laughs> and then we'll see if I play in one or not. <laughs> For now, Nadim is focused on getting back on the field after that ACL injury and one day helping others do the same. I want to be in a position where you actually are going to have an impact on other people's lives. And I know how much it means when you're in need and someone actually does something for you. It can be anything, just, you know, a little smile or just acknowledging you as a human being.